they say on the news there is no U.S. soldier in Afghanistan. I'm here, and I'll help as long as it takes. I came here to get my own family out. I couldn't do so, but I've helped plenty of other people, it, and it feels good getting them out, saving them from the Taliban. It feels good. But I've gotten out several minorities, uh, Catholics, Christians, uh, Hazara minorities, and other individuals. And there's upwards of 30 individuals that have uh, helped uh, get out to Pakistan. I came to the U.S. just a few days before 9-11. Didn't have anything. I still wore Afghan clothes and a turban. I went to high school, finished high school, and then I came across a recruiter and I joined the U.S. Army. But right now I'm in Islamabad, in Pakistan. I came about a month ago and I went to Afghanistan, but not the official crossing. I came, I got, went in and out several times, oftentimes uh, bringing more people in. Uh, again, those that have SIVs, those that have handlers in Islamabad or Peshawar waiting for them, that just need help getting in because of that closed border. I've come across many different groups here. I came across a family of 10 Afghan Christians who needed to be moved uh, and we helped move them and uh, we are hoping, we have heard that uh, they have already made it out. You guys just went to visit my family, help my mom and dad. I greatly appreciate that, man. I just want to thank you. You're doing a risky job, but still, you're the man, bro. It was a, a Catholic husband and wife that needed help to get to Pakistan. And they were in danger because of their uh, religion. They have converted to Catholicism recently. Everyone in their neighborhood knew about it almost, and they started snitching on them. This case reached me. I agreed to help them. They crossed into Pakistan, but not the official uh, crossing. But instead, we sought help from the Afghan nomads, and they illegally crossed them in. On my way back from this area, I got caught by the Taliban, and they lashed me on my back. I told them I was a cigarette smuggler, and that's why I think it was only seven times. But had they known that I had actually just helped a Catholic family get out, it would have been worse, far worse. I started feeling chills. I spoke to a medic friend of mine in the US, an Army Special Forces medic, and he said it was probably infected. So I took some Tylenol and a few other pills, and it got better. I'm a proud American soldier. I was taking a note, and I'll never forget that note. I pleaded for help. From the U.S. government, I did not receive any. I needed help to get my family out, my journalist niece out of Afghanistan, but it didn't work out. I had no choice but to come here myself after I learned that uh, there was an ambush on uh, my family's house once more. I still haven't heard any anything from our government as far as any sort of assistance. My own family is currently at a safe house alone by themselves, just a family of six. The Taliban have this thing called a photo album, let's call it. They have photos of high value individuals that they're looking for. We heard that my niece is one of those individuals. There was one incident where the Taliban showed up outside of the safe house. My friends helped her move got my family out of there, and in the process, my niece got injured. Chest trauma, bruises, and her thumb, uh, it looked like it got broken, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's injured though, very bad. The injury healed, but the fear from that day is still there. My niece is extremely sick. They were afraid. Uh, we have brought five different doctors to see her. Uh, she's given, given various types of injections and medication, but she's not getting better. She's depressed, she's afraid. She's in really bad shape right now. And on top of that, uh, at this uh, new place where they are at, outside of Cabo, they're low on water, on food. Even the kids have barely anything to eat now at this point. Um, my friends who are watching her and protecting her, they too are short on food. Whatever they can come up with, they're giving it to my family. Even Pakistan here is not safe for my niece. She is anti-Taliban. She has always spoken out about them. Taliban's reach does not stop at the border. 
they're already in Pakistan. 